Good morning. Happy Saturday. Here comes my little booski. Come here, little booski. Good morning. Good morning. Say good morning. All right, you ready for your walk? You gonna be a good girl? No, never, never. It's your job to be bad. Come on. Look up from that. And welcome back to the Rachel Show. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe. My daughter sent me another Facebook. She's part of this like St. Pete um, servers Facebook group. And she sent me a another little listing that another restaurant's made on there about hiring. Well, because the season is upon us. I guess that means snowbirds coming back, so it's busy. Um So, yeah, I'm going to head down there Monday. It said come between Monday through Thursday, 3 to 5. They're hiring 3 to 4 servers. I don't know. I'm going to go down there on Monday and give them my resume. But the last place that I did that with, they were like, oh, yeah, we're fully staffed. So, I don't know. Fully staffed and it's slow. Are you hiring or are you not? You know, but my, Monday I kind of planned on taking my resume to a bunch of different restaurants, so we're gonna try that on Monday. Um, Tuesday we have that interview, and that's the one that I really want. It's in Clearwater, so it's not far from home. Um, and they're gonna pay somewhere between 65 and 70, like. That's a comfortable pay. Like, I can pay my bills with that even after taxes and stuff like that. Um, so, I'm really going to prep for that interview and make sure I have all my questions that I want to ask and all of that because asking questions is important, even though I think it's so dumb. Um, because I really want that job, and I'm hoping I'll get an offer on that one. We'll see. Water is like glass this morning. And we got this little girl. Ma'am, what you doing? Oh, what you doing, girly pops? <laughs> Scout was trying to jerk me around. There was a breezeway that probably didn't get their trash out in time before the um, valley trash came last night and it was everywhere and I think she was trying to get me to go back to that breezeway. I'm like, no ma'am, I'm on my game this morning, okay? I see what you're doing. I'm hungry, so... I was like, I'm going to pick you up and carry you back. I want to go eat. I love you. And I also love that you're a little 20 pound baby. I can just pick you up and take you with me. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a little breakfast and then I'm going to go clean the bedroom and film some Amazon shoppable videos. <laughs> what you gonna do? Be your cute self? Let's go open the blinds. Come on, little mama. Kind of get some, some of the sunlight and it looks like it's about to be a rainy day. I don't know if it actually is. It's just, normally it's sunny and it's just very cloudy and gray out there. It's giving gray. I just got the cutest set and 
I can't talk. I just got the cutest set in from Amazon, like last night. I ordered stuff like weeks and weeks ago to do a little haul. And I filmed the one outfit, so I might film the like, I don't know. I ordered four things, and this is only number two. I have two more things coming, basically. And it's just getting annoying. Like, do I want to do the haul anymore? I don't know. Do you guys want to see the haul? Let me know if you want to see the haul. Um, but if so, I might film in this like tomorrow when I, or later on, whatever. Um, but I'm about to do my bedroom reset, but I thought, oh, I have this package. I have opened it. Let me do a few short clips and make my little Amazon shoppable video. Um, but yeah, obsessed. This is like a little three piece set. Obsessed. Love it. This is even short girl approved. Like I don't even, I could wear flats with these. I could wear a platform sneaker with these. You could wear it just like this, or you could wear it like this. You could wear this out. You could wear this lounging like. This is a whole vibe. Quick cleaning intermission because this is so random. I got a call from a Cedric something at some kind of beach resort in Tampa, and I'm like, okay, I I didn't notice I had a call because I'm recording my cleaning and all that. And I see I have a missed call, so I go and check who it is. I thought it was my daughter FaceTiming me. And I was gonna just FaceTime her back. But it was actually Cedric something from this beach resort in Tampa. And he's trying to tell me that my interview went well in the voicemail. I heard your interview went extremely well and want to hire you. I just need you to come in. Um, can you come in Monday, blah, blah, in that a quick voicemail? I'm like, um, I never once interviewed. Who is this? But, like, I have a Raleigh phone number from Raleigh, North Carolina. So, I don't even have a local phone number. It's not like you misdialed a local phone number, you know? So, it's so weird. I'm like, I'm about to go meet Joe. I'm going to meet Joelle today between 2 and 3, I think, at this beach resort in Tampa. Never even heard of it. Never interviewed. But I'm going to play the part. <laughs> Let's go get us a job. And it was for, um, well, she said I was going to meet with um, Joelle. And she was, she's a beverage and server manager or something. So I'm like, okay, good. It's not like housekeeping or something. I could potentially make tips. I guess housekeeping can make tips too. I don't even know what this job is. Like, what? I am, this isn't even the place I interviewed, or this isn't even a place I've dropped my resume off. I'm going to play the part, whoever they think I am. They said, Rachel, he called my number. I'm not gonna let him, I'm not gonna give him a chance to be like, oops, called the wrong person. Called the wrong Rachel with a Raleigh phone number. Like, you somehow got my number. And I must have interviewed in my sleep. But we go in today between 2 and 3. So we got to get this done. So we can go get ready to go do that. Super excited. A job. Update. I heard that voicemail incorrectly. I thought he said this other beach resort that I've literally never heard of. I've never heard of any of them, so I don't know what I'm talking about. And Tampa, I don't know where I got that from. That's what the voicemail like script says. And just like in my fury of missing the call and trying to like listen to the voicemail and then call him back really quick before like he moved on and did something else for the day and got busy. Um, I, I went and just listened to it again because I went after I called him back and spoke to him for like a minute. Um, I went and looked up the beach resort that I thought the voicemail said in Tampa, and I, that's not a thing. So then, when I googled it, like, I tried to do it on my map, so I didn't come up. So then I went to Google to Google it, and when it came up, it came up to that beach resort where I went the other day and left my resume at the, like, little beach bar area. Um, so, I'm not sure if I should go to the beach bar, or if I insist to go to the, like, 
hotel area, but I'm going to go to the beach bar because that's where I left my resume. I didn't actually ever interview, though. But, I mean, he said, we'll bring you aboard in the thing. So, basically, I think I'm getting the job. Um, as long as I play it cool and don't act like I haven't interviewed with anyone, you know, I'm just like, oh, yeah, totes, I've already done that. Um, so that's at two. It's like almost 12 o'clock. I think it's like 1130. I'm still waiting for my sheets to dry. And that's basically the last step in my bedroom reset. I vacuumed. I've cleaned my blinds and my window. Um, I've washed it, you know, wash sheets are in the dryer. I folded all the laundry from like two weekends ago or something and gotten that away. I mean, the, literally I've done it all, so I'm just waiting for that. So we're gonna get ourselves pulled together. Um, I don't know, I think I'm just gonna wear a little beach dress. I don't know what I'm actually going there to do. I would presume meet with people and get whatever, for instance, have a uniform or like a top to wear, getting that kind of stuff. Um, I'm really excited. Hopefully I make money. That's the only thing that really scares me about being a waitress. Like, I don't think, I think it would be fun to try to do it again and to have the flexibility of having a different schedule where I won't have to wake up and be strapped to this chair all day long. The thought of, I could walk away with a hundred dollars for the entire week. Like, I can't survive off of that. But then the thought of, I could make a grand a week you know, for the next few months while I try to figure out an office job. But on the same token, if I go to this interview on Tuesday, knock that out the park and they offer me, like, that's steady, stable income. Like, how can I pass that up? It's a routine schedule, even though, like, I was so bored with that schedule. But I can't not take an opportunity where I'm going to be able to advance my career because I could only be a waitress during this season for a few months until the snowbirds go back you know what I mean and then I'm left to out of a job because they've cut my hours if they cut my you know what I mean like maybe I don't know I don't know my head's all over the place but um they want me there today I'm gonna go and if I get another job offer next week I'm just gonna be deuces probably I don't know this is me heading to this beach resort to see who Joelle is and see if they mix me up with someone, but I'm going to start, I'm going to play it cool. I'm not even going to say my last name. Like, I don't know. Because I never interviewed, but I'm happy to take a job, okay? But put on a little sundress and my Berkies, and then I have just this little Target woven bag. Like, it's hot outside. I don't know what I'm gonna be doing, but also didn't wanna wear like pants and stuff. <sighs> anyway, let me get this drive on because it's literally 48 minutes to get to there. So, Better be worth my while to get a job that is almost an hour away. It's raining. Hopefully this clears up. It stopped raining and we made it safely. Whew, what a treacherous little trip down here. But we're at the beach now and we're gonna go see about this freaking job. Let's be excited and we get something. Waiting. It's raining! Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, you know. Writing an entire fake resume is paying off, y'all. Take it from me. Um, I might have gotten a job. I don't know, I have to come back on Monday and meet with the GM, but I am off to see my daughter since I'm all the way in St. Pete, and it's torrential downpour right now. 
but I just got soaked on the way to the car. I hope it's raining at home because then Scout won't want to take a long walk. I have videos to edit. So much footage to edit today. I'm thinking about while I'm there, I might even get some dinner to go. To get home, eat, feed Scout, and then edit my evening away. And look at this rain. Crazy. Ah, I need gas. I'm in the wrong city. I came to visit my daughter after my interview and thought like, hey, it says it's going to take like 30 minutes to get there. That seems like a long time considering I should be going to the same city. Oh my God, I'm in Bradenton. I want to be in St. Pete. Not only that, I need to make a right and I'm in the left lane. Like, it's not going to happen. I'm going to have to make a left. Sorry about that. Oh my God, I've got to go get gas. I just want to go home at this point. Like, this, I mean, I know that this is a part of just like learning and realizing that I'm in the wrong city, but like, I'm like an hour from home now and I just wanted to pop over and say hi because I was in St. Pete. I'm just so annoyed with myself right now. I'm so annoyed. I don't have any plans, so it's not like I have to be home, but it's like, why do I want to be in Bradenton when I want to be in St. Pete? I'm so annoyed, and I need gas so bad because my gas light is on. I have 26 miles till my tank is empty, like, I just want coffee. I'm tired. Been up since like seven. Then I clean my entire bedroom. Like that, that takes the energy out. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna have to make a Yui or something at some point. Yes, it wants me to make a Yui at this light. Hopefully, I pass the gas station. Then I can go head to St. Pete and not Bradenton. I finally made it to St. Pete. <laughs> Let's go grab some food to go and say hi to my daughter. She's right in there. I think I can use these doors. Oh. Ah! I love having this channel and I get to celebrate these wins and accomplishments with you all. I came home, feeding Scout, got dessert, ate the pizza, Went and visited my daughter and someone ordered a pizza and got the wrong topping on it or something. So they couldn't, they didn't want to keep the pizza and they couldn't do anything with it, but throw it out or eat it. And they gave it to me. Um, and then I ordered dessert and tipped my daughter well because I love her. But let's open this up and I'm going to tell you guys about what I just saw. I haven't seen, I haven't gotten this dessert it's called a peanut butter explosion. My God, let's get a spoon and taste it. Gotta get the small spoon because it's gotta savor. I actually want to savor this a little bit more like after I get a shower, after a dog walk, but gotta take a first little bite, okay? Mm. It's really good, but it's also like really sweet. So I'm glad it's not that big of a size. It's almost like size of a like cupcake, maybe a fat cupcake, but a cupcake. So I'm definitely excited to eat that after I shower and stuff. Get my comfy clothes, get ready to edit my videos, but. I've been glued to what's happening on my Amazon storefront to see like, am I making money? Are my videos getting views? Blah, 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 you know, all the things. And <laughs> I refreshed my Amazon storefront, like my managed video section where I can see, um, like have I made any commissions and have I gotten any views? I haven't made any money. I don't know why. 
this is not unlocked. Like, I'm so confused. Is it because no one's bought anything? Um, I mean, I meet my furry video requirement. So, I think I just, no one's bought anything off the videos. But, oh my gosh, I had 49 views this morning before I left. Now I have 786 views. That's amazing. I just don't understand... I don't understand why, I guess, my only thought is the reason I don't have any money is no one's bought anything from the video. They've seen the video and they've scrolled on or whatever. It's amazing that they're seeing the video. We just got to get this together because mama needs some coin, okay? Mama needs some coins. So spooky. Let's go. Let's go. Do they want to let me stop at the spooky house? Epic Saturday night going, updating my laptop. I just got done editing my little cleaning vlog for the day, and I couldn't get the editing software, like, back up to download. Like, I like to watch it and then download it to see if there's any last minute tweaks. I went to go watch it, and I don't know what happened. So then I was like, okay, well, let's update the laptop. The video's edited. Hopefully it's not gone. I will kill myself, and I will probably not upload it. I won't kill myself, but, you know. Dramatics. We got 48 hours going. We're trying to solve little crimes over there. And it's just me sitting in the dark. <laughs> I've got um, hangouts with Scout tonight, and I finished my dessert, and I took a shower, and did my skincare. I'm feeling top tier baddie tonight at home. Well, I will see you guys tomorrow, considering it is almost 11, it's 10.49. Um, so, love y'all, if you can see me. Bye!